Adar, a graduate student from the Philippines. I'm thrilled to be interviewing Professor Constantine Kocharavi. Uh, so I'll turn you over to Professor Kocharavi to talk about his, uh, himself and a bit about his work at the Graduate School of Public Policy. Uh, thank you, Glads. Um, yes, my name is Konstantin Kucharavi. I am an economist. I got my PhD in economics from the Pennsylvania State University in 2015. Um, I, that year, I joined uh, the University of Tokyo. At first, it was the Graduate School of Economics, and in 2018, I joined GRASP. So it's been four years. Um, I do research in international trade. And uh, at GRASP, I teach international trade, data science, and sometimes I teach international finance. Uh, thank you. So, Professor, let's start this uh, interesting interview. So, I'm just curious, because I saw from your CV that you're a graduate of software engineering. So, can you tell us about how you discovered economics as your field of research? Uh, yeah. So indeed, uh, I did my undergrad, undergrads soft, in software engineering and I think I was uh, as a third year student when I realized that I want to study economics. Um, one reason, one big reason for this was um, there were so many, I witnessed so many events, events in my life um, that uh, I wanted to learn more about. Uh, I witnessed the collapse of the Soviet Union and I wanted to understand. I, I think part of the collapse was related to economics, so I wanted to understand that. Then, um, uh, I, as I was growing up in the 90s in Kazakhstan, which is my home country, um, I saw the um, economy going through waves of uh, disasters and booms and uh, wanted to understand how that was happening, why that was happening. Uh, so just want, and then when I was doing my undergrads, I saw a collapse of a big software company. It was the collapse of the dot-com bubble, the burst of the dot-com bubble in the United States. And then after a few years, there was a collapse of a big software company in the city where I lived and studied Novosibirsk, and I wanted to understand why such yeah. things happen. So that was one thing. And another thing was um, I was just, I, I loved programming, but I wanted to apply it to something rather than programming in itself. So I wanted to uh, apply the things that I was learning to uh, something interesting. And uh, I felt like economics was one of the things. So before we close this like uh, meaningful conversation, Professor, do you have any uh, message or word of advice to uh, uh, applicants considering GRASP? If you join GRASP, we will do our best to help you to pursue your career goals. We will strive to provide, or we strive to provide um, uh, the stimulating environment, both and friendly, stimulating and friendly environment, so that you can uh, focus on your studies and make connections um, and learn things that hopefully will help you to pursue the career. Not maybe not only limited to public policy, but also it can be consulting, finance, and uh, many other things. Hi, my name is David Klug. I'm a graduate student here at the University of Tokyo Graduate School of Public Policy. And today I will be talking with Professor Aoki about our school. Thanks for having me today. My name is Naomi Aoki, and I am an associate professor of public management at the Graduate School of Public Policy. I joined the school in April 2020 after having taught at the National University of Singapore for eight and a half years. Before Singapore, I studied in the United States and uh, years ago I worked at the World Bank. Here at GRASP, I teach public management, which is a subject concerning how to manage public sector organizations, engaged in public policy making, and 
the delivery of public service is important to citizens. It's been quite enjoyable to be a part of the grass community and address this important question with our students. So, how did you discover public management as your field of research? I think the defining moment when I decided to pursue public management as my field of expertise occurred many years ago when I was engaged in a World Bank project. For this project, I had the opportunity to visit the poverty striking area of the world. And there, I witnessed how the weak capacity of public sector organizations hampered effective public service delivery. This first-hand experience taught me convinced me that uh, capable public sector institutions are essential for countries and communities to prosper. And so I decided to pursue public management and aspire to contribute to national and international discourse on how we can improve the functioning of public sector organizations. Yes, excellent. And um, then could you give any message to prospective applicants who are thinking of studying at GRASP? Here at GRASP, a diverse group of students are studying together. And because of this, uh, our classrooms host a variety of views and perspectives. So I'm looking forward to experiencing the power of such diversity with our future students.